What's going on guys? I am the Walrus Jedi and in today's video I will be reviewing The Acolyte Episode 7. So if you like this kind of video then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more Acolyte coverage in the future. It's winding down just one more episode after today so and today was interesting. So yeah, there will be spoilers for this episode, so consider that your warning. Without further ado, let's just get right to the episode. So the episode is titled Choice, and it is another flashback episode. So, you know, flashes back 16 years to Brendock, you know, the home of the lesbian space witches. And in this, it basically we get the same story as in episode three. However, we follow the point of view of the Jedi. So for the first, you know, 10 minutes, it's very boring and pointless. You know, just seeing what the Jedi are doing on the planet, looking for a virgins in the force. Uh, and then obviously Sol, like in the previous episode, he saw May and Osha, and so he and that alerts the Jedi that there are that there are people here. So Sol follows and you know scopes scopes out the the witch compound and yeah. And then he reports back to the Jedi that they've got kids and they're gonna do some ritual. So basically they decide to test the two kids. So they go to the witch compound and offer to test them and you know with, after a bit it is agreed that they that the kids can be tested so they'll be brought you know the next day but the council is we find out later that is is against all of this so basically soul is just doing whatever he wants to do so they're tested like last time and may fails on purpose like her mom told her to but osha wants to be trained as a jedi so she basically passes and yeah and basically we discover that may she did set the fire to the witch compound but it was an accident and that all the witches did not die due to May's actions in in a bit of a little heated moment soul actually killed Anasea and uh yeah and then the witches were preparing to they they took control of Kelnaka and so Kelnaka and soul fight and yeah so Kelnaka is subdued and yeah, that kills the the witches because somehow kicked the witches out of Kelnaka's mind, and so the compound gets destroyed. And yeah, Soul rescues Osha, and May falls, and yeah, so. And that's where it ends. What I liked. Nothing. We'll just skip this category because there's nothing. This isn't a... What I didn't like. Well, let's see. Well, we have the return of the lesbian space witches. And yeah, so that's a joy. But again, like that's just due to the nature of this episode being basically covered in the same ground that we already covered just from a different perspective. And of course, you know, it's actually the, the Jedi, all oh, the them rapscallions, they they just they're not good. They're actually bad. So there's that. And so when when Sol is saving Osha, because Osha and May are standing on a busted platform and Sol is basically holding up the platforms together. And I'm just like, instead of holding the platforms, why don't you just take a hold of both of the kids with the force and just pull them to you. And just 
pull them to you. It doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. Yeah, th this episode is just, it's boring. It's dull. It's just uninteresting. So, yeah, that's about all I have to say about this, you know, very subpar episode of The Acolyte. So, well, let me know what you thought of this episode in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And until next time, thanks for watching.